Funky Fry just released their Christmas.exe update. We're going to be going over every new feature in this one, so make sure you smack that like, subscribe, let's get on with the show. So this is going to be a nice little feature. All the new animations are going to be labeled as new, and they're going to be up top, so it's going to be easier to find them. The Sonic animation is going to be our newest animation at 900 points. Pretty expensive, I know. This is what the animation looks like on idle, left, down, up, and then right as well. So when you hold right, you're holding a TX2 scout shotgun. Up is like you're holding with that blue flower. Down, you're doing a spin dash. And then left, you're actually holding like a sniper of some sorts too. It's a definitely a great animation. I definitely like it for sure. This is how it looks like with some gameplay as well. I mean, honestly, the Sanic animation is expensive, but it's definitely worth it, man. Next up, we got the Fleetway animation, and this one's going to cost you 1,000 points exactly. This is what this animation looks like on idle. You're going to be floating around with the yellow aura, left, down, up, and then right as well. That's pretty insane, actually. I kind of like that a lot, too, man. It kind of looks like the Shaggy animation, but a lot crazier. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. I think a lot of people are going to be using that Fleetway animation a lot more than the Shaggy animation. It definitely looks a lot more cooler. And then our most expensive animation from the update is going to be Triple Trouble. 1,250 points for this one. And keep in mind, this animation is going to use a new setting where you can actually change your tertiary character. That's right, you got two henchmen on this one. This is what it looks like on idle. You can see two henchmen right next to you as well. Pretty cool. Left down up and then right as well your henchman kind of like goes around with you at the same pose which looks pretty cool i like that a lot here's some gameplay with the animation here It's definitely a really cool animation, and it's unique to see that we're finally having an animation where we can have two friends on the stage instead of just one. And as for a quick tour around the map, you guys can see that they've added in so much Christmas decorations. Sure, there's a giant Fumo tree right here. You guys can see all these Cerno Fumos right here. Those snowmen that we were talking about as well from the League video. There's so many snowmen around here, man. Look at this. There's another one right there. The most notable thing about the new map though is definitely gonna be Cafe du Taho if we go in over here. That's right, you guys can actually jam out to the Fumo band over here in the corner, which is pretty lit, man. I love it. Now, you can't buy anything from the menu, just like the Miko Burger restaurant, but Vern does a good job holding down the floor here, for sure. So, we do have two new map backgrounds to go over. This first one is going to be the expurgation map, which is pretty insane, honestly, bro. I didn't think we were going to ever get an expurgation map like this, because, you know, I thought Nevada was going to be close enough, but this one... Looks pretty insane, I'm not gonna lie. And this also explains that Shining Light leak that Tambrush was talking about a couple of weeks ago over on Twitter as well. Definitely high definition ground right here. You guys could definitely tell on the textures. And there's a little bit of a secret over here too. I'm not really sure who these two people are. I think they might be contributors actually, but yeah, that's pretty nice. Next up, we do got the spotlight map as well. This one looks very, very scary. It's, you're like on a checkered board. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure the top of my head which mod this map background is going to be from but it does look pretty cool though it does look pretty barren as well so it looks like chiro miru drink actually works right now otherwise known as milk let's go check it out let's see what happens when we actually drink it ba -ba -ba. it says back a back whenever you try and grab one that's freaking hilarious i love it oh uh, let's see what happens when you drink it You've discovered Cerno Fumo animation. Secret animation when we drink Chiromiro. Well, here it is right here. Cerno Fumo animation. It's a free secret animation if you just drink the drink. This is what the animation looks like on Idol. You got a Cerno Fumo right next to you as well. Left, down, off, and then right as well. Bro, that's freaking a lit, dude. I kind of like that animation. Here's some gameplay with it. Yo, 
know, imagine if they made a new secret animation for like most of the Fumos from Toho. They should definitely make a Flandre one. I would love that so much. Of course, now we do have Sonic.exe arrows as well. You guys can change any of your arrow skins to the Sonic.arrow. So I am going to be using it as a middle keybind for the five key song, which is going to be very interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the new features. Let's go to some public servers. We'll try out a song from each of the mods here. All right, here we go, boys. Triple Trouble. Uh, yeah, it's an 8 minute long song. It's gonna be pretty insane. You already got rings dropping in the beginning right here So the rings actually are a mechanic for triple trouble Especially if you have the multiple key mode on now only one side the right side's going to be able to get the rings The left side actually is still going to be four keys, which is gonna be interesting So it is going to be like a little bit of a game mode just for the right player only just like from the actual mod too Which is pretty insane Basically, the whole mechanic behind the rings is that every time you get a miss from your notes, you lose your rings, right? See, so like, I missed a couple of notes right there. Now I'm down to seven rings from 11, which is pretty insane right there, dude. But basically, you want to try and finish off the song with the most amount of rings possible. That's the whole point of the song, and also the mode as well, which is pretty insane. For a first game mode mechanic to come into Funky Friday, I'm very proud of this. Like, it's pretty nice. Oh my gosh, man. I'm not doing too hot at the moment, bro. I only got four rings, man. I've lost so many rings. But yeah, I would highly recommend changing that diamond and middle input arrow skin to the ring skin, guys. Because it is going to make it a lot more easier to get those rings. Especially when it comes to the Triple Trouble song. Big time. You guys don't want the diamond skin. It's going to make it a lot more harder. Now, when you go down to zero rings and you get a misses, like, you won't actually, like, reset or anything like that. I'm pretty sure in the actual mod, if you have zero rings and you miss, you actually, like, lose. But not in Funky Friday. They made it a little bit more easier, which is nice. I like how nice and balanced they try to make the song compared to the five-key side and also the four-key side, too. Like, you can tell I have 99 misses at the moment. But I'm only down by like a couple of thousand points right here compared to my opponent that only has four misses, you know what I mean? So they try to keep it nice and balanced considering how many misses that you have for both sides, which is pretty nice. Now imagine if they were able to implement the rings to like the Cafe de Toho or something like that where you can use the rings to buy items from the shop. I feel like that would be really cool and honestly they could probably implement something like that in the future. Where you can use rings or other or other sorts of mechanics for future shops, which would be really, really cool. We're looking okay here. We got six rings at the moment here. Pretty good so far. Should I keep on going here, man? So I know there's not going to be as many rings towards the end of the song over here. You gotta be kidding me, man. I'm down to three rings already. Oh! Yeah. It's going down to the wire here, folks. Though, if you end up the song with zero rings, nothing really bad happens, you know? It's kind of like a mini game within the game itself. I'm gonna try to get as many rings as possible. Bro, I legit managed to survive off of just one ring. That's how I usually play Sonic, right? <laughs> one ring only. Next up, we also got Angers' new song covers as well, which is pretty insane. So, I've never actually heard of Angers before. First time hearing about it. But they have done a bunch of covers for multiple songs, such as Megalovania is what the one we're playing right now. And you guys can actually hear the guitar in the background. I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure. But that was actually Angers themselves playing on the guitar for the song. That would be pretty insane. I mean, honestly, it does sound exactly like Megalovania. But the major difference is definitely going to be that guitar back, the guitar cover in the background. Now, it's not going to be a super long song. Most of the songs are usually going to be around like two to three minutes long from this one. But it is such a hoot to play, honestly, man. So definitely, if you want to get like a little bit of a difference between the original version and you want to spice things up, you can't go wrong with the Andrews version, big time. And how fitting is that? Unknown pumpkins using the Gastro Blaster emote while we're playing Megalovania. Honestly, it doesn't get as fitting as that, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this bank is kind of chill, bro. I'm just saying, man. He's, this bank is kind of chill, bro. He's got a full combo this whole song. It's kind of why I like playing as a banking account sometimes. I mean, sometimes people might think that you're not too good at the game because you're a bacon here. But they can actually be pros, man. They can actually be pros. But there you go. The Megalovania guitar cover. It sounds really great. 
Next up, we do got the monochromatic mod as well. This one's gonna be Reactor. And it's also gonna be made by the Versus Imposter team too. Which is gonna be very sus, you guys already know. Tofo, if you're watching this, very sus, man. Are we going up against a giant peppermint candy right here? That's actually pretty lit. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. The charting's absolutely insane in the beginning here, man. Oh my god. I wasn't ready for the fast charts right here, man. Oh my god. So it's kind of like a remix version between the Versus Imposter mod. I'm at, it sounds like a mini chip remix tune of it, you know what I mean? Kind of like... Yeah, it definitely sounds like a chip tune remix of it. And that's what it might be, actually. Maybe they might be like covers of very popular songs. But just chip tune versions of it as well. Which is really cool as well. Here you go, Peppermint Candy! Going down to the floor, man! He's doing some dancing right here. Here we go, my turn. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay, here we go. At least it's not as bad as the beginning. The beginning was really difficult, though. <laughs> then again, it's Reactor! Whenever you see Reactor, you guys already know that Reactor is going to be pretty insane like that. Check out my man Specs in the speakers, though! He's got that giant leak and it's going wicked fast, man! Oh my gosh! It's like doing the heavenly one-two step right there. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed that one a lot. It's like the chip tune version of the Reactor song as well. And the, most of the monochromatic mods may be like that as well, which is pretty nice. All right, guys, I got a special treat for you for this next one right here. We're going up against your boy Sick, the creator of Peculiar Colors themselves. Because they did add in two new songs and updated the mod. They added in Ill Lit and also Trample. We're going to be trying out Trample and see how it sounds like. Well, here we go, boys. This is gonna be Trample from Peculiar Colors. It's gonna be a new updated song as well. Take a listen to it! Mike Gino, the musician god himself, actually composed this song as well, which is pretty insane here, boys. Now, I'm not sure who I'm, who I'm playing against vocalite sounding here, but this actually sounds pretty insane. You guys can definitely tell by the instrumentals and everything like that that Mike Gino did an outstanding job with this one, as he usually does with all of his songs. Yeah, boy's doing really good though! I mean, for trying to beat the creator on their own song! Imagine if we're actually able to do that! Like, that's actually pretty insane right there too! But yeah, we're talking about Mike Gino, ladies and gentlemen! The same creator and the same musician that made the songs for the Mid-Fight Masks mod a while back! They did a great job with this one too! Here we go, here we go! Oh, man! We still got a full combo in there too, boys! I think we got it, I think we got it. I don't know, this one just said so different compared to like all the other songs that we played so far today, you know what I mean? It just said so different. Ah, there we go, full combo! Against the creator themselves too, that was a good match right there, yeah boy. 